we have here. We have here a little carrying case here. Not too big, not too much, but it's all I need. And I keep all the stuff you really got to have. Cell phone, right? Uh, driver's license. Pass to get on the bus for half fare. All you really need. Well, in our gospel today, Jesus talks about all we truly need. And we celebrate that today that Jesus gave us his body and blood to be with us always, even after he left this earth. And what does he say to us? He says, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. And whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. With this, we have all we need. All we need. Remember the example of my little case here. All I need, this is all that we need. Now, if we really believe the words of Jesus, that Jesus is with us, Jesus is in us. This is our identity. This is who we are. And nothing can separate us from that God. Nothing can separate us from God. Father Greg Boyle works with um, youth and addicts in Los Angeles. And he tells the young people, he says, Bullets can't separate us from God. Prisons can't keep God from us. And death can't end it. Nothing separates us. Now, if we really believe that God is in us, how does this change us? How does this make life different for us? I mean, maybe an example will help. Janice, as a young woman who regularly attended our Brady Center Mass in the neighborhood, and she always brought her little daughter, her little three-year-old daughter with her. And she was the best mother you could find. Well, on the um, live stream prayer service that we have uh, at this time, a couple of weeks, about three weeks ago, she was there and she was crying. And nothing seemed to stop the crying. She just says, I feel so awful. All I want to do is hug my baby. But I tested positive for the coronavirus, and now I can't do that. Well, maybe she felt that presence of God in her, and it gave her the courage to go on, because about two weeks later, she was on again the live stream mass, or live stream prayer service, and she was all smiles, and her little baby was right in her arms the whole time. She found her strength in the God that promised to be with her. And that's what we're talking about. So sometimes in our own lives too, just like Janice, sometimes our, all our fears, our, our worries, our problems, whatever it is, sometimes it can really get to us. And this is the time, just like for Janice, to remember 
the promise of God today, the promise of Jesus, that God will be with us. I will be there, and nothing, nothing can separate us from our God. So as we continue now, let's just stop and ask our God for the help and the strength that we need to remember that God is within us and nothing can separate us from our God.